boys and girls. Welcome to Mrs. Stelzig's classroom workshop. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the life cycle of a frog and we're going to um, share with you some of the tadpoles that we've caught. All right, so we are going to talk to you about some facts. A tadpole or another name for a tadpole is a polywog. So tadpole or polywog. It's a young frog that breathes and lives in the water. They hatch from small eggs laid in a pond or lake by their mother. Frog eggs are round and toad eggs are laid in long strings. There's enough food in each egg to last 21 days. After a few weeks, they begin to grow back legs, then front legs. Soon after, the froglets begin to breathe air and lose their tails. They will go, grow larger and in a few months become adults. Imagine that. <laughs> Most types of tadpole eat only plants. Some types of tadpole eat plants and animals, even other smaller tadpoles. During the tadpole stage of the amphibian life cycle, most breathe by means of external or internal gills. They usually do not have arms or legs until the change to adulthood. They have a large flattened tail with which they swim by lateral undulation, so side to side, similar to most fish. As a tadpole matures, it changes by gradually growing limbs, usually the back legs first, then it gradually loses its tail by pr programmed cell death. Lungs develop at the time of leg development. Tadpoles late in development are often near the surface of the water where they breathe air. During the final stages, the tadpole's mouth changes from a small mouth at the front of the head to a large mouth the same width as the head. The intestines shorten to accommodate the new diet. Most tadpoles are herbivorous, living on algae and plants. Some species are omnivorous um, and eating uh, other small tadpoles when available. By 12 weeks, the tadpole that was only a teen, had a, only a teeny tail stub and looked like a miniature version of the adult frog. Soon it will leave the water only to return again to lay more eggs and start the process all over again. By between 12 to 16 weeks, depending on water and food supply, the frog has completed the full growth cycle. So 12 to 16 weeks, it can complete the whole cycle. So sort of to recap on that, I have um, a drawing here of the life cycle of a frog. So we have the eggs. The female frog lays hundreds of eggs. They are protected by a thick, clear jelly. So lays hundreds of eggs and they are protected by a thick, clear jelly. Tadpoles hatch from the eggs. The tadpoles breathe through the gills like a fish. A tadpole grows hind legs, remember those hind legs first, its tail shortens and its gills shrink. The froglet starts to breathe air, its tail is almost gone, its front legs are growing. When the tadpole's tail and gills are completely gone, it's a frog. And then it will return back to the water to repeat the cycle. A female will lay those eggs protected by that clear jelly. Then it'll hatch from the eggs, breathe through the gills like a fish. It will grow hind legs, its tail will shorten, its gills shrink, starts to breathe air, tail almost gone, front legs are growing, and when the tadpole's tail and gills are completely gone, it's a frog. So let's see if you can remember any of those things. What is a new baby frog with a long tail called? If you said tadpole or polywog, you're right. Are frogs born or hatched? If you said hatched, you're right. Remember how they come out of the clear like jelly. What two things do tadpoles have that frogs 
do not two things. Do you remember? One is the tail. That's right, tail. And what else did they have? Yeah, can you say it? Gills. They have some gills. Good. How many eggs can a frog lay? If you said over a hundred, you're correct. What does a tadpole grow first? Front or back legs? Back. If you said oh. back legs, you are correct. So there are some facts about a tadpole and the life cycle. Well, um, Chloe was out the other day, her and Anna, and they collected some tadpoles First, they were eggs, and I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you can see, but you're going to be able to see that um, protected jelly-like um, coat. There's still a few that are in there, and then most of these have just hatched today. So, and then we're going to show you, we have another um, jar of some older ones where they're getting a little bit bigger. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to show you the jar. I'm going to try to get it right up to the camera. There's a bunch. Yeah, so there are a bunch. So if we look right here, here is our jar. Do you see all the tadpoles swimming around? Can you see where my finger is? Here is one of the clear jelly. And if we look right up here where my thumb is, can you see that clear jelly? There's still some tadpoles in it and then if we come back over here do you see them swimming see those long tails they have their gills let me try to hold it one more time where my hands not quite in the way and you can see it a little better oh see them all scattering yeah they do that when you turn the jar <laughs> trying to get it nice and clear for you okay there do you see that all right, now I'm gonna show you um, some tadpoles that are a few days older to show the growth of them. Okay. So these ones are swimming a little bit faster. They're starting, their bellies are starting to get um, a little bit bigger. Let me try to hold it up, I'm sorry. Can you see one swimming right there? See their tummies are a little bit bigger. They're all hiding. They're camera shy. There's one. He's really showing up. There he goes. Can you see how you can see those gills through him? You can see his long tail. Yeah. All right. So, eventually, they will grow into a rock. <laughs> all right. So if you get a chance to go out and look, you can observe and maybe find some tadpoles of your own. You can bring them in and raise them for a little while like we're going to do. And then once they start developing here, we're going to um, release them back out where we found them so that they can um, continue with the life cycle. So we hope you uh, hope you enjoyed learning a, bit, a little bit about tadpoles. We are going to teach you... Um, you've probably heard this song before, but we're going to sing it for you. It's one of our favorite songs this time of year about a little speckled frog. So we're going to stand up here, and we are going to sing the song. If you know it, feel free to sing along. You might have heard a different version of that, and that's okay. Our song today is called Five Little Speckled Frogs. So here we go. Five little speckled frogs sat on a rolling log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four little speckled frogs sat on a rolling log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three little speckled frogs sat on a rolling log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little speckled frogs sat on a rolling log, eating the most delicious bugs. 
Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glow, glow. One little speckled frog sat on a rolling log, eating the most delicious lunch. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glow, glow. Bleh. Bye everybody. We hope you enjoyed our little bit about tadpoles and turning into frogs. So we'll see you later.